Hi, how are you all? Um, I made it, <laughs> just about. <laughs> um, I hope you're all okay. Um, sorry about yesterday, it was just crazy, crazy day, it really was. Um, if anyone ever tells you that running a fabric shop is just this really cute little, you know, thing and you get to play with fabrics all day, don't believe them. Don't believe them because um, there's quite a lot of horrible stuff as well, <laughs> like corporation tax and VAT and um, yeah, all that kind of boring, boring, boring stuff, which has to be done, unfortunately. Oh, hang on, that leech just fallen down. Has to be done, unfortunately. But um, yeah, there was a bit of a, a bit of a cock up with our accounts and. But I managed to get it sorted. I didn't thin it. I didn't go to bed till two o'clock this morning, but I did get it sorted. <laughs> so, um, so that was good. So, um, let's say hello to people. Hi, Lindy. Hi, Natalie. Hello, everybody. Yeah, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun, Natalie, but it's done. It's sorted and we're all okay, which is fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry about yesterday. It just, if I'd have taken that time out, I'd have been up till four o'clock in the morning instead. So I just needed to get that out of the way and I wouldn't have concentrated otherwise on, the, on what we were doing um a couple of little announcements hi ali hi claire hi wendy hi anne hello hello um so if you're local to us um we had a lady um come in today christine who is the chairman of panath and district quilters um they are running a i said that i would <coughs> let everybody know they're running a trip to lampeter um where um jen uh jen jones's expedition uh, expedition <laughs> exhibition is you know she's got those amazing welsh quilts and everything it's the welsh quilt museum um, and you've got calico kate's next door which is an amazing shop um oh, what was that it just fell over over there um they're running a day trip um to Lampeter for the day there's also amazing little shops and cafes and stuff and all so if anybody's interested in joining them they've got a few spaces left um drop us, us a message and i will give you christine's um number it's the 16th of august but she would need to know by next tuesday so if there's anybody local who fancies a, a day trip out um and who would like to go um it's really worth going if you've never been um it's lovely it's a beautiful beautiful place lambda sarah was actually there yesterday she went to calico cage yesterday and bought fabric <laughs> um and it's yeah it's a really really and the exhibition if you've never seen the the welsh quilt ex exhibition it's so worth it you will never worry about a perfect quilt ever again it's just amazing to see see these beautiful beautiful quilts and you know how they're they look stunning but actually when you look at them you think oh well, that block is like completely not lined up with that one but you don't notice until you till you look at them and somebody points them out it's it's worth a visit so if anybody would like to go on that it's the 16th of august let us know and i will put you in touch with um with panath and district quilters okay just drop us uh, drop us a message and i will pass on the number i didn't want to give her a number right over here um right uh let's who else is there hi hi taryn yes thank you uh yes i did manage to sort it hi sue hi Kay. hi grace who else is there hi jean lovely lovely um very quickly before we start we're gonna so i because of everything that was going on, I've had to change everything around a little bit. So we're gonna do block of the week tonight. Um, and then the landscape wall will hang in that we were gonna have a little look at and how to change a picture into a quilted picture, you know, a fabric picture. Um, we're gonna do next week, okay? So um, we're just gonna push that one on to next week. But I've got had I've got a little I've got a little special deal for you because we messed I messed well not I messed up, but because I did let you down yesterday. Hi, Eileen. Um, I thought I'd do this for you. So if I just go over to the overhead, we've just had these come in. So these are from Benetex. They're called poured call. Oh my God, I can't talk tonight. They are called poured color. They're layer cakes. We've only got 12 of them. Because they're Benetex, they, they've come, they're American ones. They would normally be 39.99, but I'm gonna do them for 29.99 okay um they are i don't know if you can can you see that guys i don't know if it's too shiny it looks like marbling it's just the most fantastic colors i don't know if you can see that the picture on the website is is so much better than this this is not indicative of the color should i just sneakily open this one should i just sneakily open this one if i just carefully open it no Oh, no, I know, but I did feel rubbish having to cancel, guys. I really did. I'm going to sneakily open this one. 
If anybody gets this one, I'm really sorry that I've opened the polystyrene, but uh, the polystyrene, the, the plastic, but I want to be able to show you the colours. Look at the colours on this. They, it's just absolutely stunning. It's so rich. I don't know if it's coming over on, ca on camera, but the colours in it are just, oh, look at that. Can you see that, guys? The colour is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, can you see? Can't see the on the overhead. Oh, no. What's it? Oh, it was working a minute ago. Have I been talking all that time? Right, okay, give me a second. Let me click on that. Let me deactivate it. Reactivate it. Is this working now? Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. Let me come back. Um, overhead is working. Right, okay. There we go. Is it working now? Hopefully it is. <laughs> there we go. Uh, once opened, you'll have to sell it to you. <laughs> All right, Linda, you can, you can be, this one can be sold. Can you see these colours now, guys? I'm not going to open it fully, just open the corner, but look, it's just amazing, genuinely, and you know I'm not a rainbow girl normally, but this, I just think it's gorgeous. There's one here, look at that one, you see the like peacocky colours in that, absolutely gorgeous. So, it is, they're not, like I said, they would normally be $39.99 because they are Benetex ones, they are a little bit more expensive, they are digitally printed as well, all 100% cotton. But I've only got 12 of them, so I'm going to do them at $29.99, okay? And I'll probably put the price back up on Monday. So if you want them, ah, go and get them on. They're on the website right now. Um, and then this one was uh, came in as well. This is Fresh as a Daisy. I can't remember if we showed you this the other day. We've got this a lot of this on the bolts as well, which I know we did a What's in the Box. But I couldn't remember if we showed you this. But Sarah is genuinely in love with it. Look at those daisies. Genuinely in love with this most amazing we've we've got some of these in the shop and they've sold really really well really quickly um stunning little charm pack um so i thought i'd just show you that one as well just remind people oh, it's just it's beautiful really beautiful and this look at these stripes look at those stripes i love that absolutely love that so yeah that one's in as well that's brand new from create joy love who are the moody bloom people did all that range that's all new as well um you're gonna have to sit on your hands <laughs> poured color it's wonderful isn't it it does look like that um you know when you used to do marble in and then put your paper in it as a child and pull it up it looks like that it's wonderful 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 right okay we're gonna get going now we've got lots of time tonight we've got lots of time tonight so please do talk to me tell me what you've been up to i thought i'd just this is the block that we're going to do okay but there are two ways of putting it together and we'll go through that later okay we're over here now um i'm uh, i'm calling this the anyway anything goes block because when you start putting it together there's about six different ways you can actually six different patterns you can actually do with it um i'm gonna i'm doing this in the iris and ivy ones because i'm going to use it as a sample for hachanda um, and this is just one way of putting it together, okay? Uses a layer cake or 10 inch squares. So you could cut 10 inch squares out of your, um, out of your scraps. Um, but I, I thought we'd go right the way through it. You know, right the way through it today, okay? So we're gonna start off with two 10 inch squares and you want a contrasting color, you know, either tonally or do two different colors. It works best with that. Let's have a, let me just have a little look. Um, you love that as well. I know that fresh as a daisy, gorgeous, isn't it? Um, yeah, there are some some lovely new ones. You're okay now, brilliant. Okay, God, the overhead has stopped freezing. Hopefully, it's all okay. The boys should. Mm, I don't know. It now looks like it's frozen on my screen. Am I still going, or am I? We okay? Or is it freezy freezy sun? I hope it's not. Let me know if it's freezing, guys. Okay. Um. It's, I don't know. It keeps it is dropping out, isn't it? Mm, okay. Right. Let me know if it gets really crazy. I'll stop and restart it and see if that works. All right. But you're going to use two 10 inch squares to start with. You also need some background fabrics, which are two and a half by seven. All right. So you could use jelly rolls or you could cut the, your own out of, um, out of voltage. Okay. So occasionally freezing. Okay, well, hopefully it'll it'll be okay, and hopefully it won't affect what we're doing too much. Um, Drew thought he'd fixed it. Drew thought he'd fix the problem for us, but maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. First thing we can do is we're going to cut up these ten-inch squares. All right. Now, 
You're actually going to be working with five inch squares, which are charm pack size, but you need them to be the same color. So it doesn't really work with a charm pack because unless your charm pack has got lots of the same ones in it, which it, it doesn't normally. So um, I find this work better with a, a layer cake, this pattern. So we're going to start by chopping up this into five inch squares. So we're going to go like that right the way across and then line up my five inch this way like that make sure it's all lined up i'm going to go across like that so i've got five inch squares i'm going to put two pairs aside you need basically two of each so i've got two green two purple for each block okay these go in a pile to do something else with. As you can see, I've started a little pile. It's basically, I'm gonna end up with a charm pack left over, all right? I could use this for maybe a border or something like that, but I'm just putting those aside. And this little one here, we're gonna chop into two and a half inch squares. So I'm gonna go down like that, line across there and down, and go that way. And then quick round, Ooh, just line those back up trying to move myself rather than the fabrics because you know that works better like that where's my two and a half there it is there no that's not two and a half that's three and a half because i'm an idiot where is it there it is god i couldn't find my two and a half then there it is okay and up like that <coughs> oh excuse me there we go so you don't want to keep you should have then four two and a halves in your green like that and four two and a halfs in your purple. All right, you're going to work. You're going to put your purple two and a halfs with your green to uh, five inch, and your green with your purple like that. Okay, so exciting. Did you get everything sorted, Retax? I did. Lovely. Yes. Thank you, Han. Um, yes, all sorted. We are in a good place. Everything is fine. <laughs> took a while. Took some work, but we got there. All right. First thing we do is we're going to draw diagonal lines across all of these ones. So we're going to start by working with this pair and then we're going to work with those ones. So diagonal lines right the way across. So what are you all up to apart from obviously watching me? What have you been up to today? Has anybody done anything nice? Who's been to the, um, the Welsh Quilt Museum? Who's been up to uh, Lampeter? Have you been to Calico Kate's? It is an amazing shop. She's, it's just like a rabbit warren of room upon room upon room. And all the rooms are done by like style or colour and stuff. It's really cool. I wish we had that much space. I really do. <laughs> there we go. So we've got little ones like that all with diagonal lines. We're going to attach these and we're going to alter the corners. So top right corner, we're going to line one up like that. Bottom left, like that, okay. I'm gonna do exactly the same this side, so top right, like that, bottom left, like that. Let me grab it. I am actually going to pin these. I'm going to be a good girl this evening and do some pinning. Here we go, like that. And the same here. And we're gonna take it over to the machine and we're gonna stitch down, stitch down the drawn line, but what I will say is rather than stitch directly on the line, you literally want the needle to sit, like this is gonna be excess, this is gonna be cut off. Sit the needle, literally just not, like don't let it go on the line, just let it sit as it, like touching la the line, but that side, so that when you cut off and fold back, you've got that teeny tiny bit of wiggle room, okay? So, here we go. Uh, I think your sojo is coming back, yay! Oh, I'm so glad, Lindy Lou, because it's been gone for a while, hasn't it? Um, right, sorry, two seconds. Hopefully we're over here. Hopefully this is working. Am I waving at you? I'm just going to grab my tissue. I made um, like an American mac and cheese for the boys for tea tonight, and they had buffalo wings and belly pork with it. And uh, So I quickly stuffed that before I came. So what have you all had for tea? You've been in work and now you're packing your books ready for the move starting tomorrow when I pick up the keys for a new house. Oh, you're moving, Natalie. Oh, bless you. You haven't long been in that one, though. I, oh, mind you, is it pro it's probably longer than I think it is. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to chain piece these. So I'm going to go down this side and I'm just literally staying a, a thread width that side of the line. Okay, and I'm going to just slide that one in and do that one. There we go. And then chop my thread. 
Are you staying in the same area, Natalie, or are you moving? Is it just a new house or completely new area? What are you up to? What's everyone else up to? What have you had for your teas? I know that Lindy Lou has had a sausage dinner because she told me she had a sausage dinner. That's what she was having. I, had, I made mac and cheese and it was lush. Really nice to do from scratch. Nearly bought a cheese sauce and I thought, don't be lazy, do it properly. So there we go, down that one. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to snip this. It's been a strange old day today here. It like started off really cold and horrible and not very nice at all. And then oh, I've got the dropsies today, though I really have. So hopefully I'm back over here now. It's all working. Uh, we're going to take the pins out. Um, yeah, it started quite cold and horrible here this morning, but it's brightened up lovely this afternoon. I'm hoping it's going to be a nice weekend. So I'm just going to set those stitches. So just give it a gentle press to start with. And then before I cut it off, I just like to roll it back first and make sure it's right. Just because it's so much easier to double check at this point, which it is luckily. And then I can chop off the excess. And you can measure it if you want, but you don't need to. Just chop it off like that. Okay, both sides. There we go, like that. Get rid of those. Again, just set my seam, set my stitches, away we go. And then off we go like that. Uh, and then Evan and I are about maybe doing something on the bank holiday weekend in at the end of August. Maybe going to see some family we haven't seen for a while. Um, I haven't quite decided what we're going to do. Hopefully, Sarah should be at the yoga festival now. I think they were trying to get down there for about five-ish or so. So she, she will be, uh, be there. Right, okay, we're just going to pop those aside for a moment. And we're going to do exactly the same with your other colours. All right, so you do need to do both pairs before we can start cutting up and doing it all together. So, there we go. Back to my little lines right across. And I'm going to try and read some... Um, oh, hang on, it's gone really really small I think when we were messing around with it let me see if I can there we go I can read the comments now <laughs> it was so small I was like squinting um oh who's had a tummy bug sorry. uh Carolyn you've just got back from walking the dust door uh sorry walking the door walking the dog but you're starving now I'm not surprised lovely good for you for getting out there uh it's on cooking now Linda it's in onions smell good nice Oh, I love the smell of fried onions. You know, when they're cooking off. Mm -mm. Um, you moved in 18 months ago, but the landlords decided to sell. You move into a different area, but still working in Boston. Ah, oh, fair enough, Natalie. Lovely. Uh, at least you're not having to find a new job as well. All right, let's just... Sorry, just come back down. Um, oh, I didn't see... I couldn't see the comment. I hope whoever feels better... Who had the tummy bug feels better soon. Spag bowl, delicious. That's one of my faves. Um, Karen, what's that? Parents had the Bateman's Pub in Stickney. Ah. Oh, you're talking to Natalie. Is that about the area that you guys are in? Cool. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you at the poorly tummy. I hope you feel better soon. I really do. There's nothing worse, is there, than a tummy bug? I hate it. Mind you, I suppose you do lose a little bit of weight if nothing else. <laughs> it's got to be a good side, side to it somehow, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. We're very lucky, we've got an amazing butcher just across the shop, across the road from the shop. And uh, he does really, really good meat in there for those of us who eat it. And uh, I, but I hate chicken wings. Can't see the point in a chicken wing. I think they're a complete waste, but the boys love them. So I got them these lovely bu um, buffalo chicken wings, which they really like without mac and cheese. Um, right, where am I going? Oh, to the machine. Sorry, I had a little blip in the rain then. Exactly the same, we're gonna stitch down. So, so far, nice and nice and easy. And the rest of it is as well. It's just, you've gotta be a bit organized with this one. But this little bit of prep work is nice and easy. Um, oh, there we go. But, um, yeah, if anybody's interested in that trip to Lampeter, has anybody been? Have I missed your comments? Has anybody been to the Welsh Quilt Museum in Lampeter? It's really interesting. I mean, it's not a whole day place. You probably want like half a day, well, not even there, a couple of hours there. And then um, you can, um, what's the word? Um, you can go to Calico Kate's next door, 
by bison fabric. Um, and then there's this really, really lovely little, um, well, there's a couple of little coffee shops and there's some really nice shop, you know, shops and stuff. But there's a coffee shop right opposite, which do the most amazing jacket potatoes and salads. Really, really good cake too. So, here we go. Right, so back over here, nearly there. Um, hi, Cheryl. Yeah, this is um, Iris and Ivy, this range, um, where I'm taking um, some layer cakes onto her chanda. So, or oh, Crane Craft, Crane Craft, Crane Craft, Crane Craft. Um, on the 11th, I'm taking this layer cake on. So I thought, well, I'll do this, this sample up in the fabrics and that's half a job done. <laughs> it's one less sample to make, or at least half the samples made then. Um, no, never, but you could arrange to meet you there. I would love to go. I'd love to go back. I love Lamperton, it's such a beautiful place. Really, really pretty. And West Wales is so beautiful around there. Really is nice, there we go. So chop those bits off and we can start cutting it up now and making this work. So that's the prep work done. Um, just realize you want tonight, I'll watch the beginning later. Oh yeah, yeah, it all, all went a bit, um, excuse my language, all went a bit tits up yesterday with our, my, our tax and stuff and I had to cancel the one o'clock. So I'm doing yesterday's today and I'll do what I was going to do tonight, next week now. Okay, so what you should have is two squares that way and two squares that way. Okay, like that. We're going to cut these in half diagonally now and we're going to cut them across the solid bit. So leave these bits. Okay, we're going to cut them across here. So I need my big ruler back. And again, keep them in their pairs. So... You don't need to square them or anything. We're just literally going to line up the ruler corner to corner like that. Here we go. And keep those colours together. Go through that main piece of fabric, not the altered corners, corner to corner. Like that. So you end up with two that look like that. And they're going to go together. Um, Heather, you've been often, as I said above, <laughs> only 45 minutes from us. Current exhibition is really great, but Jen Jones' exhibitions are always... They are, aren't they? And West Wales is beautiful. It really is, Heather, isn't it? Absolutely stunning bit of the world. And you're very lucky enough to live there as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, I'm glad you've seen this one, actually. So yeah, so Heather would recommend it. She's been to see it. So like I said, if anybody wants to go, if you're you know, local to us and you can all easily get to Penarth, um and join the the trip let drop us a message and i will give you the phone number to to call okay so um oh claire it was you oh bless you oh i'm sorry you were feeling poorly right what we're going to do now is we're going to use these background squares hope you feel better soon darling and we're going to join these so we're going to start by putting them all on every one of these so you're going to put your background rectangle sorry like that and then we're going to put this down in, you want it to be in this bottom right corner. All right, this is where you want to join it. So, and you're going to, that's exactly the same for all of them. Or, and it won't work if you accidentally put some of them this way. So it doesn't actually matter if they all go that way, as long as they all go one side. Okay, so because I'm right-handed, I tend to choose the right side. So we're going to put this onto here and flip that so it's right sides together. And we're going to stitch down here. And again, I would add a pin to remind me which side that I'm going to stitch. So we're going to pin all these up like that. Okay, make sure that's the right side. Line that up onto there. I'm doing this so I can chain piece it. Look at that pin. Can you see how bent that pin is? That's ridiculous. Should probably put that one in the bin, shouldn't I? <laughs> so we're going to do all that on this side. Okay, right, make sure the fabric's the right way around. There we go, like that. And these background rectangles, like I said, were two and a half by seven. So I'm going to sew the side that's pointing. And there we go, that way. We're going to do exactly the same with the other colourway as well. All right, so like that. Um, uh, it's not um, not me doing it, lovely, um, the trip. It's Penarth and District Quilters. The lady who runs it um, popped into the shop today and said they had a few spaces left on the 16th of August. Um, 
and would we like would I like to let everybody know that there's a few places left so um but if anybody does want like I said if anybody does want to go shout me and I'll give you her number but then I'll let you know Heather you might be able to meet up with some of the gigglers <laughs> there we go like that and the last two they're in there make sure these are the right way round oh no see I nearly did that wrong then didn't I like that so this is quite a good one once you've done one block it's quite methodical and I quite like that sometimes you know when you can just kind of not switch your brain off but just relax into it a little bit which I like that ever, ever sometimes sometimes I like to be challenged but certainly this week I need something to give it easy <laughs> there we go so we're going to go over to here and then we're literally just going to chain piece all of this like that and we're going to stitch down that side so well, actually, I'm not going to chain piece because I don't want to stitch into here cause, and I'll show you why in a moment. I'm going to cut my thread in between each of them, but at least I've prepped it all. Okay. Like that. Cut my thread and we're going to work through. So, uh, 16th of August, you'll be in Barry. Oh, bless you. Oh, you'll have to come in. Uh, will, we, will we be there? 16th of August. Is that is that is that a Tuesday, guys? We've got festival quilts. Oh, I can't remember what date. Festival quilts is like the 18th, 19th. It's the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, but I can't remember. We'll go up on the Wednesday, but I can't remember what date that is now. So we might not be there on the 16th. What date's the 16th, guys? Uh, late. Oh, what's going on? I've just lost half your comments. They were there a second ago and now they're gone. Hmm. don't know what's happening there just lost some of your comments we still going maybe not <laughs> um, right so what hang on let me think about it so the 11th of august is thursday the 12th friday saturday is the sunday's the 14th it's a tuesday we will be there heather we will be in the shop the shop will be open on the 16th <laughs> the 17th is the Wednesday and we'll be off then Tuesday thanks and yeah I had to do a quick quick little like count on in my head <laughs> so uh, yeah so we'll leave for festival quilts on Wednesday because we've got a set up on the Wednesday and then um, it's Friday Saturday Sunday exhibition so this month um, Cool. I don't know if anyone else is going to festival. Um, Eileen, I know you're going, because right? I remember you telling me the other day that you've got tickets. Um, they are, um, we've obviously got Jill Rep, who is the CEO of um, June Taylor. She's coming over and she's going to be demonstrating all four days on our stand, um, which is very cool. Because um, she literally owns June Taylor, so she's like the big wig. And she's going to be um, coming over and showing some new products that they're launching and stuff on our, on us, on our stand. Um, they were telling us the other day they've got um, Liberty have got a... Oh, where, where's my button? I can't find the button. There it is. Um, Liberty is... Are you planning to attend the Autumn Quilt Festival at Dugsford this year? Um, I don't think so. I think it's too close to Malvern this time. Um, we're doing... Haydock, if anybody's in that area, which is up Manchester -y way, I believe, um, in November. Um, we're definitely doing Duxford in the spring next year, but I don't know if I, I, it's, part of me is like, oh, we ought to, because Duxford in the spring was really good. But um, I think it clashed with something else that we were doing, so we couldn't get it in. I can't remember, to be honest, Cheryl. Um, but yeah, if any, um, yeah, we are doing Haydock as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to iron all these out to the background fabric. Okay. So it's going to feel a little bit odd because, oh, right. Be really careful. You've got an open bias here and I just wasn't, I just really squished that. You've got an open bias here, which if you pull, pull and iron it too much, it's going to stretch nastily. Um, Eileen, you could do Haydock. Ah, oh, amazing. Yeah, it's um, it, the race course. Um, okay, so just iron that out towards the background fabric. Don't worry about this bit here. We're going to be doing something with that in a minute, moment. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's the, it's the first time there's ever been a quilt, quilt, fest, uh, quilt show there. It's a brand new one. It's with Grosvenor who do 
uh, Duxford and Malvern and all that lot. Um, so um, we thought we'd give it a go. And we, we've never been done a show up in that area either. So it'd be nice to see some of you guys if you are around. Oh my God, I'm making a right mess of this tonight. I can't iron. I'm supposed to be doing this nice and gently and I'm making a right mess of it. Uh, does it clash with the treat? Oh, it might be. That might be why we're, we're not going. It might be the retreat, and I know there was, I think there was some reason why we couldn't do the autumn one, but we're definitely doing D Duxford in the spring. Right, something is catching. I think it's this wire's catching the fabric. Um, okay, right, nearly there. Sorry, this is very dull. You happen to watch me mess around with this um i think november yeah november retreat is now fully sold out it's been sold out for a little while um but i believe that we've got three spaces left in the april next year you saying about retreats and if anybody does want to join us what we're going to do now is we're going to trim off all this excess so you're going to line a ruler up with that diagonal like that okay and it should I don't know, am I in the right place? It should almost hit this corner, okay? You're not, you're, you're not going to have much left over, all right? So just trim that off in line. So you've got this. So we'll do that again with all these. Um, your, my husband did a Spitfire fight at Duxford. Oh, I know, it's an amazing venue. I did it with my husband last in the spring. And even he was like, oh, yeah, this is a really cool venue. Um, all those planes and all are just so, so cool. They really are. So I'm just lining up my ruler with that long diagonal like that. There we go. And chopping off. Don't worry about any bits like this. If it's moved, all of that is going to be squared up in a moment. Okay. Um, ah, Carolyn. Yeah, thank you, love. That's why we're not doing it. I had a feeling there was a reason we weren't. It's because of the retreat. Um, but... Uh, but we will be there, Cheryl, we will be back in the spring. I've already booked for that one. So hopefully you might be able to make that one and we'll see you there. There we go, down that one. So again, it's, it's all quite repetitive, which sometimes is quite nice. Or well, I find it is because it's it's a little bit mindful, isn't it? It's a bit more relaxing than, oh God, what's next, what's next, what's next? You can just get into the swing of these. <laughs> there we go and down that one and there we go okay so you've now got all of these so you should have four with like the main color being the one color and four with the main color being the other color like that with these background bits you're then going to take one of each okay you're going to take one of each and we're going to put them together like that they won't line up they're not supposed to that is how it's supposed to go okay so line all of them all up like that so I've got you can see they're, they're the same when you put them like that okay but when you put them together just turn them around so they look like that okay we're gonna put this one on top of this one now because I'm working with lots of exposed seams okay these are all exposed not exposed seams Exposed seams, that's not even a word. Biased seams. Oh, I don't know where my brain is, I really do. Um, you'll hold off and attend the spring one instead. Ah, oh, lovely. Ah, oh, it'd be so nice to see you, Cheryl. Lush. Um, I would definitely, you know I don't pin. You know I don't. I would pin these. I would absolutely pin these uh, because all of that bias, you don't want it to stretch too much because your block's just going to end up misshapen and puckered. Okay? So I'm going to do that with the next one. Put them together like that. Right sides together. It do really doesn't matter which way round they are either. Okay, they they're completely turnable. <laughs> Your two friends had. Oh yeah, you, Natalie, you came to the Duxford one, didn't you? You you came and said hello to us. Yeah, uh, you said they. Your two friends had to drag you away when we went to Duxford show. I was annoying them with my fascination of the old aircraft. <laughs> Square, you're, Tina, you're squaring up 152 half square triangles. It's more, yes, that is very repetitive, lovely. <laughs> yes, that's quite, that's quite a hell of a task. But sometimes I don't mind it. I, I'm not a fan of squaring up, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I quite like to switch my brain off. And that constant, you know, repetitiveness is, uh, isn't too what, I, I understood what you meant, Tina. I got repetitive, although... 
I really do need, oh, I need to get my eyes tested. I really do, because I'm struggling to read your comments. Obviously, I wear contacts, glasses sometimes, but uh, I am, um, I think I, I'm very, very short-sighted, very short-sighted. I'm like minus 4.75 and minus five something in the other eye, very short-sighted. Blind as a bat without my contact on the glasses. But I'm just, in, I think I'm, I think it's a sign I'm getting old. <laughs> getting old I already am but I've just realized I'm starting to have to read my phone or read my kindle a little bit further away to get it in focus so I need to make an, a, an appointment I really really do because I'm definitely it's definitely changed you know when you start I was read on the plane I was reading my kindle I'd normally hold it about there and I was thinking oh I can't quite focus that it's got to be over there somewhere <sighs> it's not nice is it it's not nice getting old <laughs> Right, okay, let's get back over here. So we're nearly done. So we're gonna now stitch these together. Go slow and steady with these. This is all bias, all right? I don't wanna stretch this out. So take it slow, take it a weeny bit gentle. You know, just make sure everything's lying nice and flat. There we go. Once you've kind of got most of the scene done, you can speed up a little bit. Linda, are you going to lend me yours? Thanks, Han. <laughs> I need some of those reading glasses, don't I? <coughs> Excuse me. No, I definitely need um, my need a new contact lens prescription. Um, I've got dodgy eyes anyway because of this erosion thing I've got in my eye. Um, so it need I need to have a checkup anyway. I've not had one for over a year, which I have because of the erosion. I have to have them done, you know, more regularly. And, uh, but yeah, I definitely think my prescription, these, they're going to tell me I'm going to need very focal glasses or something. I might need uh, something for more reading. <laughs> there we go. And... Oh, too fast. Don't stretch that seam. There we go. And down that last one. Once they're sewn, you can be a little bit more vigorous with it. Hi, Carol. How are you? You forgot about this. Looks good. We'll watch again later. You've had your granddaughters all afternoon, made lots of hair scrunchies with leftover jelly rolls. Oh, that's a cute thing to do with them. Oh, I bet they love that as well. There we go. So over we go, over to here. And we are going to take the pins out and we're going to press these out gently. Okay, nearly air with the pins. One, two, three, like that. Right, so. Again, set that seam nicely and then just very gently press that out. Doesn't matter which way you press it because they are basically mirror images of each other. Okay, so I'm going to press them all one way. And then we're going to square them up and then I can show you can put it together in all sorts of different ways. Okay, so we're going to do like the, the twisted pinwheel one that I showed you at the start. And then there's one that I'm going to call barbed wire because that's what it reminds me of. And then I tell you, there's a couple of other things you can do with them as well. So. There we go. Okay, so get rid of that. And then we're going to square these up to six and a half. Okay, so you've got a nice diagonal there which is perfect for the diagonal on your ruler, right? So, oh, sorry, forgive me, my nose is really... Linda was saying to me today, is your allergist paying up? She said, you're extra snuffly and sneezy. I was like, oh yeah, I really am extra snuffly and sneezy today. So, just get the six and a half in, and you're just going to trim off any excess, okay? Like that. And you might get a little bit of excess with these because of all those bias seams. It, it can stretch a weeny bit, so definitely worth just trimming off any bits like that we'll do the next one there we go that's it make sure that 45 is down the center if you can if you can't quite get it down the center but you can get your six and a half in that's fine don't worry about it you didn't see the start but they look interesting thanks carolyn i was quite pleased with this one I, it was one of those what happens if i cut up here if i add that if i do this if i do that it was one of those blocks um and then i eventually got to this point i was like oh i quite like this oh i like the way this goes together this way and this goes together this way so, 
missed the corner there. So down like that, down like that. So next week, Sarah's still off on Monday. Ooh, Monday. Um, and then she's back on Tuesday. So we have got quite a bit of tax stuff to do on Tuesday, but there will be a one o'clock on Tuesday. Um, I'm just sure this one has gone a really bit wonky, but it is within my quarter inch seam allowance so I can get away with it. So, okay, what I'm gonna do. So, I don't know if I can be able to show you. Can you see, um, if I put it against a piece of white fabric, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see how, uh, where I overstretched, can you see where I overstretched that? How it does this? Don't panic too much about that. This block will still work because when I put the ruler on it, that's at six and a half, that's not quite, but it'll be within the quarter inch seam allowance, so it's fine. Can you mind, uh, I said the dates of the quilt, uh, crochet along, uh, sorry, quilt along. Yes, it starts on Wednesday next week. Um, Wednesday the, what's that, fourth, third, third is the Wednesday. Um, you will need a jelly roll. And if you want to make the full size quilt, you'll need two meters of background fabric. If you want to make the smaller size, um, you need a junior jelly roll or about a meter and a half of fabric and then chopped into two and a half inch strips. But it starts next Wednesday, okay? Um, it'll be an evening one like tonight because it's so much easier for, to do, for me to answer questions and not be thinking, oh, I've got to go back to, I've got to, go back to the shop. And there's also people who work and stuff. So it's nice to be able to do a, an evening one now and then. Um, so it's going to be, yeah, next Wednesday it starts and then it'll be fortnightly, okay? Right, so you can put this block together lots of different ways. I quite like, where is it? Not that way, that way, this way, which I'm going to call barbed wire because that's what it reminds me of. Okay, so you can put it together if you turn them like that see if I put that like that you've got different colors here they still line up they'll still line up when we join them you know, when we stitch them together or if you do that turn it that way it kind of looks like this hang on am I in the right place there we go you see so it kind of looks like this is wrapped round come round like that and out the side this side that's how I see it anyway Okay, so you could do that, which when we join it together, it kind of looks like, I think it look, almost like barbed wire, particularly if you were to put, let me just grab some strips. I've got some strips here. Um, you know, if you were to put like a border around the block like that, I think it'd be a really funky um, table runner. You could put, you know, look, put them all down in a row like that and make a table runner, but it will join it together, will be a two and a half inch block. So you've got barbed wire, which is that way. Or if you turn them, oh, hang on, one that way, one that way, um, one that way, like that. You've got this lovely sort of twisted pinwheel going on, okay? So you can do them with like opposite colors going in, or you can do it with all the same color going in, like that which is another look again. I also quite liked the idea of, as well of choosing, I haven't got any purple or green here, but choosing a solid fabric in one of these colors. We'll just use this for now. And doing that and that, and that and that and that, and just sashing it up and making a bigger block, but then putting a, using one of the ones that are left over, if I just fold this, I should have cut this really shouldn't I that would have sat in the center like that and I quite like that as well I thought that was quite interesting quite funky I like the way it kind of looks like that you love the same colored pinwheel yeah I quite like that I think I quite like that one as well there you go like that so actually if I grow because I did these as different ones didn't I so if I move that over that side there's the same color one but that's it when you I'll alternate it so I've got one I don't know is, is this camera in the right place for you so you, can you see both of them let me just skip up a second and then I'll be able to tell you <laughs> let me go, go up there um so yeah that's got the same color but that's got opposites 
okay and they do it does look quite interesting I think when you then put them together and you kind of get this secondary pinwheel happening when the blocks go together so you've got this sort of like twisted pinwheel idea on in the color and then you've got yeah I can see it now <laughs> it's better and then you've got this kind of solid one happening there okay but I'm also quite taken with my barbed wire I really am <laughs> and I want to kind of play with this idea and maybe expand on it I quite like that idea so you can have it like that so it's sort of roll, rolling through like that or have it so you've got extra little blips in there like that you know so yeah lots of ways of playing around with it um you could have that was the other thing i was going to tell you actually you could have at this point before we joined them together if you'd have put a triangle of a solid fabric so um let me just grab a hang on let me grab a one of these <laughs> so you could use some of your layer cakes now this is going to be too big but i'll do the measurements for you let me just flip that under like that here we go I think that would be quite interesting as well I'll flip that back so you can't see it there we go I think that might be quite interesting as well when you put different blocks together in fact let's just do another one quickly because you'd get like pinwheels on pinwheels on pinwheels then um, let's put that one on like that I should have made this one up for you shouldn't I didn't think to do that turn that back on itself there we go so it's roughly the right size here we go and then you could do um pinwheels with like mini pinwheels here does that make sense so that pinwheel would um where is it i can never remember there we go like that and then you'd have these as solid colors so you know once you've made got to this point there's lots and lots that you can then play around with yeah, can you see and then you could add big triangles on rather than it being adding two little ones together you know lots lots of different things you can do once you've got to that point so does that make sense lots and lots of things to play around with um lovely book thanks no problem right okay let's um that's that's kind of it that's everything i got to show you so um let me just have a quick read of your comments you love so i like it might be your next project ah cool i really i've really enjoyed playing around with this one actually and kind of you know messing about with what to do with it and stuff um uh and you love the blog thank you thanks Taryn. uh thanks Patricia. lovely lovely thank you guys um so i'm actually going to put these together and put them on the end of this and then make another block and just do, put them put a border on it just as a table runner so that people can see these fabrics ready for, for creating craft um so that's what i'm going to do now in fact now i'm going to i'm going to make a cup of tea first tea first so um very very quickly i will see you um on tuesday yes i'll see you tuesday um i think i'm probably going to keep the 7 p.m till next thursday so i'll do the wall hanging next oh no because no that says oh i don't know i'll work it out i will we'll announce it on saturday like we normally do but there will be an evening one next week it might be the tuesday actually i um, have to sit i have to let's have a little look um don't forget these i've only got 12 and they're 10 pound off okay i'm doing an intro offer on them at 29.99 rather than 39.99 and fresh as a daisy charm packs again there's only 12 of them the rest of them have been earmarked for a chanda so if you like this off you go will you put the quilt dimensions up on um fb oh the quilt on yes i will do that for you in a moment i'll get i'm gonna make a cup of tea i'll get my laptop out and i will put the requirements and the dimensions up for you definitely i'll do that in a moment so keep an eye on um our facebook page um for the post but did i not do that the other day oh no i put the instructions up for the thing that we were doing didn't i don't i meant to do the quilt along but yes i will absolutely do that for you in a moment eileen no problem at all um you've got an evening I've got an oh, I've got an evening one on Wednesday, haven't I? Oh yeah, right. The what landscape wall? Yeah, of course, because the quilt's on. I'm glad you and you remember what I'm doing, Anne. I think you know I need to be my secretary. So I think I need to employ Anne as my secretary. Keep me in, keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> yes, I've got an evening one on Wednesday, so the landscape wall hanging will have to move to the following week because the quilt along is going to be fortnightly. 
the landscape wall hanging will have to move to the following week. So, yes, we'll get to it, I promise. In fact, do you want to have a little look? I could quickly show you if you've got a few minutes. Give me a second, I'll grab it. The, the idea of what we're going to be doing, um, if it's here, I hope it's still here. Oh, it's not there. Oh, no, I moved them. Oh, it's over at the shop. It's over at the shop, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, I was going to show it you, but no, it's in my bag at the shop. Never mind. Never mind. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you on Tuesday. But we, we, I will put it in. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll see you next Tuesday anyway, guys. And um, have a lovely evening. Hope you're all okay. Um, hope you have a nice weekend.